Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. My name is London and I'm back with you for the daily reading for Monday, January 12, 2015. So today I will be using three cards from the Vanessa Tarot by Leonard Narciso. And we will use three cards to get a depiction of the energies that we can expect for this Monday. We will be using an Angel Tarot card to get a depiction of the overall energy and the overall feel of the day um, by Doring Virtue. We will be using a Mermaids and Dolphins card by Doring Virtue to get uh, messages from our spirit guides and angels for this day. So we're going to get started. The first card that we have from Vanessa Tarot is the... High Priestess in Reverse. Okay, let's take a look at the High Priestess upright first. The High Priestess depicts this woman who is really sitting on this throne. She has her mirror in hand. This throne has a symbol of um, a crescent moon on the top of it, symbolizing that she's conquered her fears in this situation. She has, and these look like wands almost, she has um, a dark wand that is symbolizing um, the negative circumstances of the situation situation and also the positive circumstances of the situation she has an owl right here showing that she's very observant and she has some wisdom so it's really showing us that you know you've really studied this situation you've ac accumulated some um wisdom about this uh, certain situation that you've been working on you haven't really made a decision you've been really in a receptive phase where you've just been studying and um conquering your fears you know just letting go of the fears you know really setting yourself up to what's to come and with this in reverse is letting you know that you've been observant enough you've um you have the right answer so it's telling you to move forward on the things that you have studied up into this point it's letting you know that you've conquered a lot of fear um with these things and it's letting you know it's okay to move forward you can move forward with the things that you've been thinking about Next card up from Vanessa Tarot is the Temperance card, okay? This is really good after the energies that we had. But it shows this fairy bartender. And she's really at the bar and she's mixing drinks. And she looks pretty happy about it. But with Temperance, it really is letting us know that, you know, we she has these two cups right here. And she's balancing her emotions. She's balancing, um, you know basically her emotions <laughs> and she's um just really she has that emotional stability so with the temperance card upright it's really letting you know that the um the energy has changed you have gotten to a place where you're a lot more emotionally secure a lot more emotionally balanced and you're able you're able to make decisions in a much better place now and it's actually telling you that because you have um balanced your emotions because the weekend was kind of um a little bit of a emotional difficulties and things were a little bit unstable but because you have got that got that stable energy now because you have um you know really tapped into yourself and and um nurtured yourself and and brought yourself to a place where you were able to um stabilize your emotions it's telling you that the things that you've been working on the things that you've been studying and being receptive about and not really moving forward with yet is telling you that it's time to move forward with those things it's telling you that it's safe to move forward with those things it's telling you that now that um your emotions are balanced you're able to um, move forward on the things that you've been trying to create so it's definitely a good time to move forward right now the last card that we have is the Seven of Cups in reverse. Let's take a look at the Seven of Cups upright. The Seven of Cups upright shows this woman who's um, really in a negligee. She has a throw over her. She's just really taking a nap and she's dreaming about all of these different possibilities, all these different options that she has. But with this is in reverse, it's letting us know that, you know, we're really focused on one certain opportunity right now or one certain thing that we're working on. It's letting us know that you've been in a receptive phase right now where you were really well before you were in a receptive phase where you were really studying this situation really trying to look at the situation and see what um 
best angle to go about it and and you and, and it caused some emotional difficulties because it's showing that now that you now that you have um balancing your emotions you're able to make um the decisions that um you were a little bit um hesitating to make or being receptive um in making and now it's time to move forward with the things that you um you've been dreaming about that you've been um in this receptive phase now it's time to focus on that certain thing that you want to create what is that certain thing that you've been um thinking about recently what is that thing that you've been like well i don't know if i can create this but really just still observing that thing you know what is that thing that you've um maybe had some fear about but you know what is that thing that you're you're really wanting to move forward with you're you've stabilized your emotions so now that you've stabilized your emotions you've looked at the um, situation from all different points of view so you've had a very analytical mind with it you were you were receptive of enough you um you balanced your emotions and now it's time to move forward with the things that you've been dreaming about because now it's time for you to create those things get up and um go is telling you that you have all the answers to create it so um you know focus on it and go after it next card up from angel tarot is the knight of fire and it says passionate adventurous self-assured and restless and it says a sudden event that it needs immediate attention time is of the essence and think things through carefully okay so the knight of air is the knight of fire and fire is very very um let's say it's very very passionate you know um fiery people are like um airy Sagittarius, Leo people who are just motivated, you know, who know what they want and they're just going after it. And that's what you need to tap into. It's telling you to tap into that passionate, adventurous side, that side where you're self-assured and you're confident in the things that you're moving for. Um, moving forward in and be restless know that you can um, get this this thing that you're trying to um, accomplish off of the ground and focus on it it's telling you to focus on it but it's uh, telling you to also have that passion to move forward and get things done but it's telling you to carefully weigh the things that you're um, working on you've um, had some you well you've already um, been in a receptive period anyway so it's really just telling you to move forward with the answers that you have accumulated while you were in that reception period. What things did you um, learn? What things did you um, think about moving forward with? Now is the time to move forward with those things. And it's telling you that um, right now things may start to pick up speed. It's telling you things, um, a situation that needs immediate attention. It's telling you that the things that you're working on right now need immediate attention. You need to put your focus in on them right now now because um it's something that you're working on that has to be done right now it has it there's a limited um time span so it's telling you to really put that focus in on it the may the angel messages that we have today is let yourself receive and it says allow others to give you loving care receive without guilt or apologies and this is basically letting us know that it's okay for you to receive it's okay for you to get that helping hand from other people as you can see this mermaid is really um doing the hair of another mermaid and it's telling you that you know it's okay to um reach out to other people or feel like you need um some support from other people everybody has times where they need that extra support so it's just telling you to reach out to um the people that you know who will be able to um give that to you and it's also um letting you know that you don't have to do everything by yourself it's telling you to allow people to um help you allow yourself to receive help you know so um um just really just um put some focus in the things that you're trying to create and move forward with the things that you've been um really uh, receptive about and the things that you've been studying because now is the time to move forward with them because now you have the emotional stability and um <laughs> the emotional balance so um these are the messages that i have for monday so thank you for watching and um 
Um, just go out there and take control of your lives, guys. All right. I will be back with you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.